Hello friends. Welcome to GK Mojo. In this video we will tell you about some important terms used by RBI, Central Bank of India. Let's start with repo rate. Repo rate is the rate at which banks borrow money from the RBI for a short period by selling their securities means financial assets to RBI with an agreement to repurchase it at a future date at predetermined price. It is similar to borrowing money from a money lender by selling him something, and later buying it back at a pre-fixed price. Now let's come to reverse repo rate. Reverse repo rate is the rate of interest at which the rupee borrows funds from banks for a short duration. The banks deposit their short-term excess funds with the central bank and earn interest on it. It is kind of reverse of repo rate. Now let's come to bank rate. Unlike repo rate, there is no sale of security in bank rate. Bank rate is the rate at which banks borrow money from the central bank without any sale of securities. It is generally for a longer period of time. This is similar to borrowing money from someone and paying interest on that amount. Now let's come to cash reserve ratio. Have you ever wondered what happens to the amount that you deposit in bank? It is used by banks to earn money by investing or lending it to others. House loans, personal loans etc. But as per the regulations, banks cannot use the entire amount deposited with them for this purpose. They are required to maintain a percentage of their deposits as cash. So. If you deposit sir forward slash minus in your bank, then bank can't use the entire sir 100 forward slash minus for lending or investment purpose. They have to maintain a portion of the deposit as cash and can use only the remaining amount for lending forward slash investment. This minimum percentage, which is determined by the central bank, is known as cash reserve ratio. Now let's come to statutory liquidity ratio. Apart from keeping a portion of deposits with the RBI as cash, banks are also required to maintain a minimum percentage of deposits with them at the end of every business day, in the form of gold, cash, government bonds or other approved securities. This minimum percentage is called statutory liquidity ratio. So friends, this was all in this video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel for more informative videos.